Hey guys, we're going to talk about contacting a sponsor on behalf of EdCamp STL. So there are some steps I want you to go through anytime we go out and contact a sponsor. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to check to see if the sponsor is already on our list. We might have somebody already contacting them. Second, how, do the, how does that contact, contact want to be made? Should it be made through a phone call? Should it be done via email? You know, it all depends on the locality of that sponsor and your relationship with that person. Second, send the sponsor the contact letter, that sponsor letter that's in our Google Drive. Follow up with that sponsor to confirm any donation. Follow up with the sponsor after the conference and try to link that sponsor with either our evaluation video or a picture that was taken during the day so that way the sponsor actually sees their donation at work. Okay, so let's walk you through that process. All right, here we have our EdCamp STL list of sponsors, and we see we've got possible sponsors, who's contacting them, who did we actually get a hold of, any notes, and whether or not they did give a donation, all right? We also have the space over here is, is that been confirmed, is it finished, and did we follow up with a thank you after the conference is taken care of, okay? So here's some possible sponsors that are on our list. These are people we contacted last year, all right? And you'll notice that who contacted this area is blank right now. That's what we're going to seek to fill out, okay? And then if I knew who was the contact person from year to year, I put that in there. So that way, as we build a relationship with these sponsors, we can continue to go back to that same person. All right, we made any notes here on this column and then if we received a donation in one way, shape or form, okay? I'm gonna use uh, Dan Pink right here as our model person. Now, obviously Dan Pink, famous author, he was so nice to donate us two books last year, which was just absolutely amazing, all right? So I'm gonna contact Dan Pink. I pull up the sponsor letter. Here's the, the sponsor letter. And I'm gonna go ahead and just copy our sponsor letter that we have taken care of right here. Okay, so there's our sponsor letter. Hit that copy. Pull up my email. Now, last year, I was able to just simply send him an email, and he responded to it. It was phenomenal. It was easy. It was fantastic. All right, and I'm going to subject in support again for EdCamp STL. Okay, Mr. Pink. And I'll paste in my letter. Now, as I'm going to go through this letter, I'm going to then take this stuff out and begin to personalize that letter so that way it actually reflects my relationship that I have with that person, okay? Now with Dan Pink, he was very, very nice to send us autographed copies of his book. It was just an absolutely great resource. So I'm going to make sure in this email to him, I'm going to highlight the fact that he did send last year three books and they were all autographed. All right, that's outstanding. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to personalize this, and then I'm going to hit send. Okay, so before I do that, uh, before I actually hit send, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and save it for right now. Keep it right there because I'm going to send that before we're done. Okay, I'll go back to my list of sponsors, and I'll say that Chris contacted Dan Pink. I'm going to put down notes, emailed on, and today's date, which today is 9-4. Okay, I'll wait to hear back from a donation. I'll follow up if I need to follow up and see how that goes. Okay, so this has been contacting a sponsor on behalf of EdCamp STL, and I hope we get a lot of great things here for this year. Thanks.